Jim Rickards has made a stunning new prediction about the future of the gold market, and I know this is something you're going to want to hear. In a recent interview, the best-selling author and investment banker stated that, this is the third great bull market in gold in history. Gold is going up. It's going up a lot. Indeed, Rickards predicts that the price of gold will hit an unprecedented high of $15,000 by 2026. And he insists, that's not a guess. It's the result of rigorous analysis. With a track record of accurate predictions, including Brexit and the Trump presidency, Rickards' insights are not to be ignored, and his predictions for the gold market present a significant opportunity for investors in an otherwise challenging market. He also states that investors haven't missed the boat. 80%, 90% is a good run, but this is going to go multiples of that. In this video, we'll cover the reasons why Rickards is making such bold predictions about the price of gold, and why gold is such a strong investment during the current economic climate. Make sure you stick around to the end as we'll be showing you exactly how you can make the most of this incredible opportunity. So, let's get started. In order to make this sensational prediction about the price of gold, Rickards used the previous two gold bull markets as a comparison for the current one. Put simply, gold bull markets are periods where gold prices surge over a sustained period of time. And according to Rickards, the first gold bull market was in 1971. Now this may surprise you, given that gold's value as an investment has been recognised for thousands of years. However, prior to 1971, the US dollar was pegged to gold under something called the gold standard. Under this system, the US dollar was pegged to gold at a fixed rate of $35 per ounce. In addition, other currencies were also linked to the dollar, effectively making gold a reserve asset for central banks. As Rickards puts it, prior to 1971, gold was money. In 1971, President Nixon announced the end of the gold standard, meaning gold was no longer tied to the dollar and there followed the greatest gold bull market in history. Take a look at this chart. As you can see, the first bull market in gold ran from August 1971 to January 1980, and the price of gold rallied from $35 per ounce to $800 per ounce. That's an incredible 2,200% gain in just 9.4 years. There followed a bear market from 1980 to 1999 when gold went down from $800 to $250, which was about a 70% drop. But it then rallied again in 1999, and the second great gold bull market was from 1999 to 2011. During this period, the gold price increased from $250 an ounce to $1,900 an ounce, which was an increase of 670% in 12 years. And as you can see from the right-hand side of the chart, we are now firmly in the third great gold bull market. The current bull market began at the end of 2015, when the gold price bottomed at $1,050. Since then, gold has gone on a record-breaking run to its current price, which, at the time of making this video, is $2,295 per ounce. That's an 118% increase in under nine years. And Rickards doesn't expect it to be done there. According to him, if we take a simple average of the price gains and durations of the two prior bull markets in gold, we arrive at a 1,435% gain over a period of 10.7 years. Applying that gain and duration to a baseline of $1,050 per ounce beginning in December 2015 leads to a gains projection for this bull market of $15,070 per ounce by August 2026. That would be a staggering gain at any time, but it's especially so when put in the context of a US economy that's struggling with high inflation and high debt, and a stock market that many are predicting to crash in the coming months. Quite simply, Rickards believes gold offers an incredible opportunity to not just ride out the current economic storm, but to ride it to heights way above anything we've seen before. Before we move on to the reasons why gold is currently on such a strong run, please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want more weekly updates on how to build massive wealth, 
even in market downturns. Okay, moving on. Firstly, gold is seen as a great hedge against inflation. As you may know, inflation reached a high in 2022 that had not been seen for decades in the US economy. The main driver for this inflation has been increased spending by the Federal Reserve, pumping trillions of dollars into the US economy in an attempt to stop it from grinding to a standstill following the global pandemic. This worked in the short term, but one of the major downsides of supplying more money in the economy is inflation. When the Federal Reserve attempts to stimulate the economy by growing the money supply, prices will increase over time, the cost of goods will be unstable, and inflation will likely occur. Following the Fed's effort to stimulate the economy, the Consumer Price Index rose 6.8% between November 2020 and November 2021, driven by price increases for gasoline, food, and housing. Higher energy costs caused the inflation to rise further in 2022, reaching a high of 9.1% in June 2022, a high not seen since 1981. And this is where gold comes in. Gold has long been considered a safe haven asset, especially during times of high inflation. This is because it has strong preservation of value. Inflation erodes the purchasing power of currencies like the dollar, and as paper money loses value, gold becomes more attractive as a store of value. Let's take a look at this simple demand and supply chart to explain this concept. Unlike paper currencies, such as the dollar which can be printed by central banks, there is a limit to the gold reserves that exist on Earth and how much gold can be profitably mined. As a result, gold supply is finite. On our demand and supply chart, this is represented by the vertical supply curve as we have assumed a fixed quantity of gold in the short term of Q. As investors seek gold to preserve their purchasing power, the demand curve shifts outwards from D1 to D2. With supply fixed at Q, demand outstripping supply means the price of gold shoots up from P1 to P2. This means that gold has historically had a strong track record of being an excellent inflation hedge. During the 1970s, when the US faced high inflation, gold shone as a top inflation hedge. And when oil price shocks and energy shortages drove average annual US inflation to around 8.8% from 1973 to 1979, gold delivered an impressive 35% annual return. In addition, Gold often exhibits low or negative correlation with traditional financial assets such as stocks and bonds. This means that its price movements tend to be independent to those of other assets. Which is particularly helpful in the current climate, with many market commentators and analysts predicting that the stock market will crash in the coming months. Jim Rickards himself has stated that, Stocks are expected to perform poorly potentially losing up to 50% if geopolitical conflicts escalate. These concerns about the US economy come against a global backdrop of recession in Germany, slowing growth in China and near-recession conditions in Japan and the UK. Rickard also points to growing geopolitical tensions, such as the war in Ukraine and the conflict between Israel and Gaza, as adding to the chances of economic turmoil on a global scale. And as a result, many expect a declining stock market to fuel future growth in gold prices. This is why so many investors have been so keen to buy the precious metal in recent months. While being a very appealing investment right now, it should be noted that gold can be a volatile investment in the short term. As gold goes on this incredible bull run, Jim Rickards does expect there to be some bumps along the way as, similar to any investment, investing in gold is not always plain sailing. However, this doesn't concern Rickards as he is a long-term investor. In fact, he doesn't mind a few dips in the price as these provide the opportunity to buy more at a discount. As a result, Rickards is relaxed about short-term price volatility because he has one clear conviction about the price of gold over the long term. In his words, I know where it's going. I know it's going up. So how can you invest in gold to make the most of this incredible opportunity? Option 1. Buy physical gold. 
Buying physical gold, or bullion, is what most people picture when they think about investing in gold. Gold bars, gold coins, hunks of pure gold and jewelry. It's the stuff of treasure chests and bank heists. And you can purchase physical gold from reputable dealers or mints, providing you with direct exposure to the metal. Many see this as the most exciting way to invest in gold, but it's also the most challenging. When you directly purchase gold, you will need to physically store it. Not only does it take up a lot of space, there is also a risk it can get stolen, lost or otherwise spoiled. These are all risks that do not present themselves in other forms of gold investments. Option 2. Gold Stocks Buying gold stocks is another way to invest in gold without having to physically own it and store it. Gold stocks are shares of publicly traded companies that are involved in gold production. Some gold stocks are miners, and this group can be further divided into junior, upstart miners which offer much higher risk, but also very high potential upside, and senior, established, miners which can provide more steady returns. Just like buying any individual stock, buying stock in a gold mining company comes with some risk, but it means you have complete control over which specific companies you invest in. For example, some investors might opt for a gold mining company that practices strong environmental responsibility over one that does not. And while owning gold stocks won't let you hold gold in your hand, it does mean you have the benefit of an asset you can sell at any time. Top performing gold stocks in the last year include established miners, Harmony Gold and Kinross Gold, as well as junior miners such as Alamos Gold Inc. Option 3. Gold Funds A more realistic way to invest in gold is through a gold exchange traded fund. Exchange traded funds or ETFs are a popular low cost way to invest in gold without having to physically own and store it. A gold ETF tracks the price of gold and allows investors to buy shares representing ownership in a pool of gold. ETFs are typically passively managed, which means they do not involve a fund manager making trades all day. As a result, management fees are typically lower on ETF products than for traditional mutual funds. You can buy and sell shares of gold ETFs through your brokerage accounts just like you would with stocks, making it accessible to a wide range of investors. And as gold ETFs are traded on major stock exchanges, they offer high liquidity and tight bid-ask spreads. This means you can easily buy or sell shares of the ETF at prevailing market prices without significant price impact, enhancing your flexibility and efficiency in managing your investment positions. Some of the best performing gold ETFs right now are IAUF, the iShares, Gold Strategy ETF and AAAU, the Goldman Sachs Physical Gold ETF. Both ETFs have provided returns of approximately 13% in the last year alone. So there you have it. The reasons why Jim Rickards is so bullish about the price of gold and what you can do to make the most of this incredible opportunity. If you want to learn more about Rickards' views on the current state of the economy, head on over to this video where I show you just that. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep building your wealthy life.